Today we're taking a look at the Magnus VT4000. Magnus. 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 Let's talk about some pros about this tripod. First of all, it looks very professional. Second of all, the arm on here can be quickly adjusted to lower or higher, and it can also be taken off and put on the other side of the tripod head. The next great thing about this tripod is that it has designated uh, pan and tilting uh, locking levers so that you can lock one and then just do the other. Another great thing about this tripod is that it has the half dome leveler on the bottom as well as an actual level on the top. And so if you're on uneven ground you can adjust this tripod head slightly to get a perfectly level set for your camera. Another nice feature about this tripod is that it has a nice quick release plate with a double locking mechanism on top. What that means is you'll slide it on and it'll snap on and you'll have to push this red button in to get it off, otherwise it's locked right here. So if I push that red button in, I can easily take the quick release plate off of the top. And so you've got to make sure that you lock the uh, first lock here that will secure it on there. Another great feature about this tripod is the legs. It's got really nice rubber feet on it that can be screwed in to get the spike if you're outside on ground where you'll need the spikes. All right, I've quickly thrown a camera on this tripod so you can see kind of what it looks like and how size-wise it might uh, be compared to other tripods out there. And it's just a wonderful tripod to use. It's got a wonderful fluid head on it that will give you nice fluid movements. Okay, now as we transition into the cons, let's talk about some of those about this tripod. One thing is that the fluid head, there's not a whole lot of resistance on the fluid head. On Manfrotto tripods, you have a wonderful resistance on the fluid head. On really high-end film production tripods, you actually have adjustable levels for how you want the tension to be. Now you can tighten these knobs a little bit and that will give you a little bit more tension. I just hope that it doesn't do any damage to the inside of the tripod when I do that to give it a little bit more resistance. Another thing about this tripod is that the leg locks feel a little cheap. When pulling the tripod up, you've got a little locking device down here to keep the legs together, which is really nice. Now the legs, even if I hold it by just one, don't move. However, there is a rattling now whenever it is moved around. You quickly fold it up, just like that, and you can throw it into the bag. Now the bag itself is really wonderful. It's a nice material, it's padded inside. The only problem is, is that it is very, very, very tight on the tripod. And so it can be a little tough to actually get it in there. And get it zipped up. But here we go. This is how it fits in the tripod. It's quite small. So what is this tripod good for? Well, at $150 for this tripod, which you can get on Amazon.com with Prime Shipping, I believe it's $160 on Amazon right now with Prime Shipping, or $150 at bnhphotovideo.com. From my experience, you just will not find a better tripod in this price range. And I'll say that again, you cannot find a better tripod in this price range. So this tripod would be great if you're just getting into professional video. If you're looking for this as a career track, this will make a wonderful secondary tripod as you continue to upgrade your equipment as your years go on. Also for the price, this would be a great tripod for people at all levels. Whether you're a high school student making films with your buddies for $150, this is gonna be a fantastic tripod and a lot more than you need. For people who are doing professional video, it's got all of the features that you would want in it with just a few drawbacks. So go ahead and check this tripod out. I would highly recommend it, and I'm gonna give it five out of five stars today. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video, subscribe, leave your comments and questions below, and I will get back to you. And remember, leave your nasty comments for people who cut you off on the road, and we'll see you next time.